Bang! Combat Sports today, back again. It's becoming a daily thing. I'm getting good at it. Anyway, uh, yeah, today we got Usyk, that low blow, Sean O'Malley's new forehead tattoo, and Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler, confirmed for December 16th. So, yeah, let's get right into it. But right before we do, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that bullshit. Come on, let's go. Bang! First things first, we have this Usyk Duwa fight, which went on last night. Usyk won it in the ninth round, but the main story out of it is this low blow. And I'm not sure about it, to be honest. Like, up here, yeah, okay, that definitely looks like a low blow. It looks like he hit him. But when you actually watch this video here, you can see the punch looks good. At the point of impact, which is what? Right, like, here? Here? Bang. That punch looks good to me. That punch looks all right. It looks like that's just on the belt line. And then he was down for, what, four or five minutes after that? So, if that's me and I'm Dubois, I'm pissed, bro. Because that's a, that's a fair knockout to me. That's just a great body shot and dropped them. Now, we're going to see Joshua hurt him with a body shot. Dubois hurt him with a body shot. If that Fury fight happens, we're going to see Fury definitely work on his body a lot. Bang, after that, we have UFC 296 Chandler versus McGregor. Now, I saw this originally on someone's Twitter. I can't remember. Some MMA Twitter I saw it, and I was like, it's probably fake. But Connor himself did tweet this out. He did tweet out that UFC 296 Channel McGregor is confirmed. I'm still not sure. I'm not going to be sure until I get a Dana White confirmation or until I get something like that. Anybody that's like actually really going to put the fight on. I know Conor McGregor is going to be fighting, but he's been saying December, 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 December. I don't know how long until I get a reliable source that's saying, yeah, this is done. This is going to be in December. I'm not sure how they're going to use the USADA workaround. I did hear someone saying that you can do the thing where... Say uh, if you get someone coming in on 10 days notice for a fight that wasn't in the UFC that hasn't been getting tested, you can get them into fight still and have them not be tested. So I heard someone say something about them getting McGregor in via that way and uh, kind of getting a USADA workaround that way. But I'm not sure about it. I'd be super excited. Anyway, obviously, I'm going to watch it. Chandler McGregor, Sean O'Malley also wants to be on that card. So it would do crazy pay-per-views. That could be one of the biggest pay-per-view cards ever right up there with like Khabib McGregor if you've got Sean O'Malley on that as well uh so yeah great fight can't wait if it happens after his performance yesterday against the Korean zombie Max Holloway also said he wants to make him undeniable for a fourth Alexander Volkanovsky fight it's nice to know that's still in his mind because it kind of feels like it's not in a lot of people in a lot of other people's minds after that third fight I still think Max Holloway is the number one contender in that division as in like the number one guy to beat Volk can't see Ilya doing it. Yair couldn't do it. But they just don't want to keep putting that fight on and on and on and on. So yeah, I still want to see a Max Holloway a fourth fight. I know Volk kind of dominated him in that third fight. And that Max now would struggle with Volk's wrestling, I think. But I still think it's the most entertaining and the closest fight you can get in that division. So yeah, put it back on. Got Sugar Sean O'Malley with the new champ pad. If you can't see it, it's in the top right up here. He got champ padded on his forehead after his, uh, after his fight. That's a... Uh, that's a crazy one. I knew, I knew he said he was going to do it. I'm like, I don't, I'm not surprised that he did it. But uh, getting the crown, getting the champ padded on his head. He's just a wild motherfucker, man. He is wild. Like, he's, the comparisons to Connor are completely correct to be there. Because they're both just as wild as each other. Both just as dedicated. So, yeah. Uh, some more Sean O'Malley news. Liam Smith, Chris Eubank Jr. is on this weekend. If you didn't know, it was meant to be on Saturday, July 1st. But it got um, postponed because of an injury. So now it's coming back on. It's going to be on this weekend. It should be a great fight. Liam Smith's hot right now. Chris Eubank Jr. Kind of, he's kind of looking at that retirement stage. You know what I mean? And then we've got, obviously, we've got Cyril Gann, Sergey Spivak in terms of MMA this weekend. So I can't wait for both. Both should be really good events. Then, obviously, this weekend, we've got Cyril Gann against Sergei Spivak. Rose Nama Yunus also on this card. This is kind of a stacked card, uh, especially in those first two. But Volkan Ozdemir. So, we've got some good fighters on this card. I'll break it down as you get close to it. Obviously, Kaelin Lochran, who's an Irish who's an Irish fighter. I will be sporting him intently. Sporting his UFC career because, you know, you got to support your own. Uh, but, yeah, no, some good fights, some good fighters, some underrated fights on this card. But I'm really looking forward to the top of this card. Cyril Gann, Rose, Volkan Ozdemir. This should be a great fight. That's all I've got in the combat sports world today. Make sure to like, sub, comment, do all that YouTube stuff. Helps me out a fuckload. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.